Today is day two of our San Jacinto fill-in trip. I don't know what that makes it for our whole trip. If you've been watching, you might remember the windmill day right outside of Tehachapi, where we just had the worst night of sleep of our lives. This was kind of like that, um, except I guess we're used to it now. Um, I mean, I didn't sleep through it, but I'm ready to take on the day at least, and I have a positive attitude. Um, Look at these beautiful mountains behind me. You can still see the uh, controlled burn going on a little bit. Um, it's one mile to water, which is good because I'm thirsty. <laughs> Not a lot to say, but I'm excited to see what the day will bring. We do miss our hiking buddies, David and Cheddar and Diner and Chief Mayo and Low Crunch um, and Android and uh, of course Lila, oh, who's now named Mamacita. Love you guys if you're watching. Good luck. Yay, there's water. Welcome to Southern California in late June where snow still exists. Okay, we're a few miles in. And uh, we've done two little peaks. Dylan says there's one more before we actually head down Black Mountain Road. And we're headed to some water, uh, Strawberry Creek, I believe is what it's called, um, which is great. Except we keep going down and I'm like, that means we have to probably go up this much even more and then more. And I'm, man, it's, this ain't easy, especially when you're not used to the elevation. We've made it as far up San Jacinto as we plan to go. There's a side trail that goes all the way to the peak. But right now, we're about to head down. I'm grateful for it. The PCT is just as we left it, with water running down the middle of the trail. Maybe halfway up our final climb for this section. We're headed up close to 9,000 feet total in elevation. Um, it hasn't been so bad. It's pretty gradual. It's nice and shaded. Lots of water. We're just not used to the elevation, so it's a little bit tough. But we're getting there. It's so beautiful out here. As you can tell, there's still a fair bit of snow up here. We got water. <laughs> uh, we just passed the crossroads between where we would turn if we wanted to do the extra three miles to get up to San Jacinto Peak. Uh, and we didn't take it because ain't nobody got time for that. Um, so we're headed back down, which means we don't have that many more miles to go. We're trying to get to the proper campground today. Do you remember the name of it? Okay, well, keep you updated on that. Uh, who knows if we'll get there because we're pretty tired. And it's all downhill from here, so that's exciting. <laughs> believe we're looking down at the desert where Cabazon is that we crossed through where it's really, really windy. Pretty crazy to see it from all the way up here. Absolutely beautiful sunset. We got in uh, quite late on our second day of the San Jacinto stint. Uh, it was dark. It was like 9 o'clock. I got in at 8.30. I think Dylan got in a few minutes later, but it was quite dark. I can show you our campsite now. We ended up doing 15 miles, which means with the five miles of PCT trail we did before, we pretty much completed the entire PCT section now straight from the border of Mexico all the way to the start of the Sierra, which is in um, Kennedy Meadows South. So that is an amazing feeling. Now we just have to walk down Black Mountain Road back to our car. <laughs> this is our campsite. 
We didn't use the fire pit because it was too late and why bother? Also, I don't know if they're allowed here, but there were some really cool big rocks, pine trees everywhere. The wind respectfully did not kick up until about 3 a.m. And when it did, it was lighter than last night. So we were able to actually get some sleep. We're walking down the little camp uh, trail to get to the road. And I recognize it, but it looks so different without the snow. It's crazy. So we had walked down this road and passed the trail because it was so snowy that we couldn't see that sign. It was like barely <laughs> visible. <laughs> so crazy. We got like five more miles or so, and it's really surreal to see where we hiked before where there was so so much snow like an incredible amount of snow and now seeing the same road the same twists and turns the same rock formations but just completely dry and beautiful sunny day is really weird um yeah and in a minute here i'm sure we're gonna pass where we camped on the road because there was so much snow nobody could possibly get through and we also couldn't get to a campsite um so that'll be kind of fun as well <laughs> we'll see if i can point that out for you this is the exact spot that we all camped, <laughs> cowboy camped, and uh, slept right in the middle of the road because it was so dang snowy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dylan. Uh, it's just kind of funny to see it. And now, of course, cars are driving up and down this road. So strange. Did we even go on a hike if we don't show you a snake? This, I believe, is a gopher snake. I'm sorry to have disturbed you. We found the canyon on Black Mountain Road that John and Keeley drove us safely over last time we were here, so thank you. We are reaching the end of Black Mountain Road. The road, the highway is right around the corner here. We're both pretty exhausted. We're both, I think, a little bit out of shape, so getting back on trail next week is going to be a little bit interesting. The end of Black Mountain Road. Somebody dropped a piece of their saw. Well, that's terrifying. On the road. <laughs> hmm. Probably not the best place to drop your saw. Look at it, we made it. Oh, 